So yesterday I filmed a video about this pen that I just put on my website and uh, didn't realize till today that the first part of the video did not actually record. So I have five of these pens in pink. These are the pens that you put the wax inside and you screw the little top down uh, to push the wax out of the tip. This did not come with extra wax like I expected it to. Um, but watch this video to learn what I learned to do and what not to do. There's wax in here, but it didn't come with extra wax. So you can use this little thing to tighten it. And also you can open it up to put more wax in there. And what I want to discover is instead of buying the extra wax that costs a lot of money, you have to, oh, you have to really, I'm thinking that you can just hold the wax in your hand until it's warm, and then you can just roll it up and stick it in the in the pen right because it's flexible enough why not right it might take a little effort on your part because that just that just went half and half again so you want to um mold it a little bit to put it in the pen it might be it's going to be a little bit of extra work so for people who don't like to constantly have to refill their or they feel that they constantly have to refill the wax in the tip of the pen now you can just put the wax in the pen i'm going to put that little that little thing that i just <laughs> got out of there put it in here so I guess six of one a half dozen of the other so I'm going to at four pieces was too thick I'm gonna stick this in there I just broke it a little bit and I'm thinking it's gonna be just fine it's the same wax if you buy the wax that's already shaped like it fits inside here, it it's expensive because of the labor. All right, so I pushed that in there. So that's half of the wax that I had. I fold it, well, maybe a little bit more. I fold it in half and half again. And I'm gonna keep holding it in my hand for the heat to keep the wax warm. And I'm going to hold it down this end and force the wax into the pen. This is going to work just fine. Just fine. And so now I'm going to screw this in, right? Oh, I want it to. Uh... Okay, so the pen is a little bit colder. I probably should have held the pen and the wax in my hand. So maybe while you're kidding up or watching TV or whatever you can bring the wax to your body temperature and it'll melt and mold into this pen and then i'm just going to twist this and while i'm twisting this it's going to go down the pen and push the wax to the tip and i'm going to do this until there's pressure to stop oops there was no pressure to stop. Look at that. Jeez. <laughs> oh, okay, then. Don't do that. <laughs> right? <laughs> Watch. Oh, my goodness. Watch what you're doing. And I'm going to put this right back in. Actually, I'll put it up into a little ball. I'll put it right back in there. That's actually, yeah, that's actually a little bit softer than. All right. So that's what's not to do. So you're welcome. You are welcome. All right. The 
There you go. And they come in this little plastic. Where do I put it? Where do I put it? Oh, right here in front of me. They come in this little plastic container. So that's that's nice. So to wrap up what I learned, the wax, um, when it was warm and I pushed it out of the pen with this screw plunger thing, whatever, because the wax was warm, it kept coming out the end of the tip. So um, that's one thing you need to watch out for. And uh, that's just something that's going to happen. So maybe you want to prep your pen before you're going to diamond paint, if you're going to put new wax into it. So make sure you do it ahead of time so you don't have trouble with the wax just coming out.